You may be considering being an Instacart shopper so you can make more money on the side or even have a full-time income, but you may be wondering exactly how much do Instacart shoppers actually make. Well, in this video, we're going to dive into how much Instacart shoppers actually make as well as some tips that you can use to increase your earnings even further. So, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, this is Elijah with The Rideshare Guy, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how much Instacart shoppers actually make. And while these amounts will obviously vary depending on your market, there are some universal things that contribute to making more money, as well as some expenses that you should consider when it comes to driving for Instacart. So, let's get into it. Throughout the video, you'll see screenshots coming from our article on Instacart Shopper Pay. If at any point you want to see the full article, you can click the link in the description below. Nowadays, Instacart shoppers are actually making over $20 per hour thanks to more people ordering their groceries online. This has definitely been affected by the pandemic because more people are ordering groceries online instead of actually going to the store. Like rideshare driving, Instacart is a flexible way to earn extra money because you can choose your own schedule and get paid weekly, and Instacart even has a cash out option where you can cash your funds out on the debit card for that day. We recently interviewed someone who's been driving for Instacart during the pandemic and they averaged about $25 per hour. In one week's time, he managed to earn over $2,000 working for Instacart. And when asked what advice would he give to other shoppers, he said the following. Don't drive too far away from where you live. Keep your distance short to minimize your time driving. This does wonders for helping you earn more per hour. Focus on a few stores and get to know them really well. This will increase your pick speed and your hourly rate. This is very key because not every store is designed the same. And last but not least, play to your strengths. You don't know spice aisle very well? Well, they don't accept orders that have a lot of spices. This is obviously used as an example, but this can be applied to other areas as well. Now, how much does Instacart actually pay per delivery? Orders tend to range between $15 to $20 an hour. This number figure is a combination of how much items are in the order, the pay per mileage, base pay, heavy order pay, as well as the customer tip if the customer tipped you. Occasionally, a delivery could range between $30 to $40 an hour, but that's usually when a double batch is in the equation. A double batch is when you'll end up making two deliveries, which means you'll be shopping for two different people, then dropping off at two different people. It's highly advised that if you're new to Instacart, you don't take these orders because they're not exactly appealing for newbies. Now, everything I've explained so far takes the pandemic that we're going through into consideration, but what is the Instacart average earnings if there wasn't any pandemic going on? Generally speaking, Instacart shopper average earnings tend to fluctuate based on who you're talking to, what market, as well as other factors. For example, Glassdoor says that the average Instacart driver makes around $11 an hour. We can compare that to Indeed, which says Instacart drivers earn about $10 an hour. However, based on the data that we at the Rideshare Guy have gotten from various drivers, as well as some of our contributors who have actually driven for Instacart, the pay range is between $13 to $25 an hour, and that range is so big because it depends on your skill level. If you're looking to tilt that scale closer to the $25 per hour, then I recommend you check out some of the videos that our rideshare contributor Katie has made on Instacart, such as the Instacart Shopper Tutorial, 7 Mistakes Beginners Make with Instacart, as well as 10 Tips They'll Make You More Money on Instacart in general via strategies. Another big aspect of Instacart earnings is the tipping feature for customers. You can see the tip before you actually accept the delivery, and you can decide whether you want that trip or not. But our contributors at the Rideshare Guy have seen that it's best not to speculate when it comes to tipping. Whatever amount that you see on the order, you should just go ahead and guess that that's going to be the final amount and make a decision based on that information. It is possible for the customer to tip after the delivery, but you don't know if that's going to happen. So whatever number you see pop up initially, just use that to evaluate your decision if you're going to do the order or not. Don't bank on them tipping later because they may or they may not. Now that we've covered how much that you can make with Instacart, you also need to take into account the expenses that will be associated with it. There are three main expenses that's associated with being an Instacart driver or shopper. The first is the mileage expense. You will obviously be putting more miles on your car. With this being the case, this also means that the general maintenance of your car is also an expense, as well as the insurance you need to drive. A good habit to start right off the bat is to actually download the Stride app and use that to keep track of the expenses that I just mentioned, because it will be a lot easier for you during tax time since a lot of these are tax deductible. The second main expense is actually your gas costs. You'll be spending more money on gas since you will be doing more driving in your car. 
The good news is this expense can be mitigated if you have debit card or credit cards that have cash back features where you can use to pay for your gas. In addition to this, if you use the GetUpside app, you can actually get cash back at select gas stations. If you want to know more about GetUpside or would like to sign up to use the app, click on the link in the description below. The third main expense is an insulated bag. You'll need this because you'll be transferring people's groceries from point A to point B. and We want to make sure that they stay on the same temperature. Quality bags tend to run around $35 and up on Amazon, but the good news is this is an expense that's usually only paid once. Now these expenses will be different for everyone in terms of cost, but the key thing is to make sure that you're just keeping track of them. And there you have it. You now know how much Instacart shoppers can make. If you want to make closer towards the higher end of the spectrum, I highly recommend you check out our Instacart playlist where you can learn various tips and strategies on how to maximize your income as an Instacart shopper. That does it for this video. If you haven't done so already and you found value in it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. And subscribe if you're new. We publish new videos every single week. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or shoot us an email. This is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. I will catch you in the next video. Be safe and profitable, everyone.